welcome to Sculpture Studios, creating a little something for a nightclub in London. Over the years, we've created numerous props for nightclubs and items for themed areas, such as a Tokyo Tea Room Blossom Tree for Steinbeck and Shaw, fish, elephant and reindeer theming for Annabelle's, a tree trunk for the entrance of Club Chemistry, and Wild West facade theming for Smiling Sam's. Now that's really going back in time. The Cuckoo Club over in Mayfair is home to beautifully lit lounges, mixologists and some rather quirky other attractions, one of which is a champagne unicorn brought out for special occasions. With the original model having seen better days, we've been commissioned to create a unicorn Mark II. Rather than simply repairing the original, we're creating a completely new version, strong and durable, with the brief simply stating they'd like it to be the same size and the same pose, just without the wings, as these often got in the way. Jess has taken the lead on this project, beginning by blocking out from polystyrene, and eventually finishing the sculpture in a blanket layer of glass fibre. This will then be worked up to a better finish to lose that woven fiberglass look, and art worked accordingly. Mapping out the design, the peripherals are cut using hot wires, and then it's a case of working with nail and wire brushes to essentially carve a miniature horse. This is one of those projects where, apart from basically following the same sort of form as the original, we've got a little free reign over the eventual look. Not only this, but the client hasn't given us a strict deadline, so we're able to take our time and simply enjoy the creation process. In order to make this easier for the staff to carry around the nightclub, what with the saddle being filled with champagne bottles and having to navigate through and carry over the heads of dancing crowds, we're installing some handles for a better grip. We're installing two bars, one going through the front and one going through the back legs, being firmly fixed into the job with glass fibre. Bonding the two legs together like this creates a really strong fixing that you'll be hard pressed to break. The secretly sourced sticky back tin foil of course strikes again, protecting the entire shape before going over with our polyester resin and fiberglass mat. With a sturdy build up of multiple layers so this is nice and durable, we then treat the surface with a resin flow coat. This is then sanded back, filled and re-sanded until we achieve a decent enough finish that's suitable for a dark nightclub environment. One of the ways in which we regularly keep costs down for our clients is recommending the sort of finish that's most appropriate for the project. Quite often, with something that's either going to be seen from a distance, like a theatre prop, or something like this, where it's seen in a brief, dark environment, this means not always opting for an absolutely pinch-perfect car body finish, and this dramatically brings the project cost down and keeps everything within budget. Jess is using paint and airbrushes for the artwork, and using water-based emulsion paints. Eventually, the artwork will be sealed with a tougher car body lacquer, but the emulsion paints underneath means that if this gets knocked or damaged, the artwork can easily be touched up. The client has requested that pinks and purples are used to stay in keeping with their corporate logo and the glow of the nightclub, and I'm fairly certain the unicorn's going to be okay with this. We're adding a few of our own finishing touches, glitter for a little bit of fabulousness, and once the lacquer has cured, it's now ready to head off to London to the Cuckoo Club in Mayfair. 
If you're ever heading over that way, I don't think the unicorn makes an appearance for just any occasion. I have a funny feeling some sort of champagne extravaganza order is required. But keep an eye out, and you may just catch sight of it bobbing its way across the dance floor to someone else in the club having an absolute banger of a night. We'd like to thank our client, Corrado Mozzillo, the co-owner of the Cuckoo Club, for coming to us with the project, and we look forward to any future collaborations later down the line. Please feel free to leave any comments below, as they're always appreciated, and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for our latest videos. You can follow us on Facebook and Instagram via the links below, and for all of our true die-hard fans out there, you can now become a patron of our studio. All of our support contributions go towards the creation of these videos, so if you enjoy our content, you know what to do. Becoming one of our credited patrons means you'll be featured at the end of our upcoming YouTube projects like these guys here, so visit the Patreon link with this video to show your support. However big or small, it's greatly appreciated from all of us here at Sculpture Studios. Thank you very much for watching.